Hey guys, how is it going? I am Clayton Motos, and I want to take you on a little adventure into a kind of mysterious part of dirt bikes. And that, of course, is the transmission. This is the transmission that I pulled out of my 2009 YZ450F bucket bike project. And it has a couple of very interesting little quirks. So inside of that, you can see that big hole right there where there's supposed to be metal, but there's not. And this gear is also welded to the shaft. So in this video, I'm going to go over how I would take apart this transmission and how much it would cost to replace it versus buying this used transmission that I got from a 2008 YZ450F on eBay. And as you can see, this gear is not welded to the shaft. So I've already inspected this transmission and looked it over and it's in really good shape. And I'm gonna make sure to show you guys exactly what I do and exactly how I'm going to look at these transmissions from a bad one and a good one. Let's get started. So as you can see, I've got my bad transmission here on your left and my good transmission here on your right. And I'm gonna just gonna kind of blow through this bad transmission first and then show you all the good things about this transmission. So to get started here, we're gonna start with this shaft. This is the main shaft of the transmission. It's got one freewheeling gear here. It's got a um, gear dog gear here another freewheeling gear here, and this gear here, which happens to be kind of just a stationary gear in the shaft, just like this one here, except this one can move off, but it doesn't spin either way or move side to side. So the first thing when you're inspecting a transmission for wear, what you want to do is you want to look at all the teeth on the gears. And this first gear, so you can see, no, huge damage marks. There's a little bit of rust right here. So we're gonna move on. Now we move on to this gear here, which if I flip it around this way for you guys, see those big marks on them right here? Those are wear marks. And these are not just regular wear marks. These are wear marks from that chunk of the transmission. This one here that I found floating around in the crankcase. So this gear um, clearly would need to be replaced and I'll put the price of that gear right here on the screen. And then we move on to this next gear here, which you can see has some damage marks there. Um, and here and along these teeth as well. Then we move on to this last gear. Oh, and this gear will also, of course, need to be replaced, and I'll put that price right here. And then we have this gear, this last one um, here, which actually looks to be in pretty good shape. I'm not seeing any kind of big damages there. And then, of course, this gear, which if this one is broken, you'd have to replace this entire shaft. So it's got a little kink right there, but other than that, this one looks good, so I'm gonna give it a pass. So the next thing that we need to look for are the edges on these gears here. So to do that, I'm gonna take you guys off of the tripod. So what we're looking for here is the corners. We're looking at that corner and this corner. So if you move the transmission, this, so the way that it's orientated in the gearbox is that this side is not the spinning side. So this, this freewheeling gear spins like this. So when it interconnects, it interconnects that way, not that way. And so most of the rounding you'll see is gonna happen on this corner. And as you can see there, there's just a little bit of rounding on that corner, which is nothing terrible. Certainly not the worst I've ever seen. This corner, however, as you can see, has been completely rounded off, which makes this gear, again, not usable, as well as from these marks here. And I'm gonna keep looking, and this gear dog is just a little bit worn. Um, and then even this side is worn on this one, which is very odd, just a little bit but as you can see, that corner is destroyed as well. And then as we pull the gear 
out and we look at this side, we can also see the rounding of that corner and that corner and that corner and that corner. So this gear is totally destroyed and it has to be replaced. The next thing that we're going to look at is these um, grooves in here. Hold on a second. So if you can see the little bit of shiny coming off of that gear, I'll put an arrow at it. That corner is rounded as well. So is that one, and that one, and that one. So this gear is destroyed as well. I'll put the price of that gear at the same corner of the screen. So basically what we've determined is that each gear here, with the exception of this one, is destroyed and would need to be replaced. And when you replace the gears, you also have to replace the um, snap rings inside of there, and they have a specific orientation. So um, it's, it's important that you look through the manual and figure that out, but I can put up a little screenshot of how the, how the snap rings are supposed to be orientated with the little lip and the edge. And look at all the carnage going on here. So this gear here, which I believe is fifth gear from all the diagrams that I've read, can come off pretty easily, which is helpful. Um, so we're going to take a look at the scraping here and this rounded corner, which isn't super bad actually. Um, and it's, but they're all just a little bit rounded here, which adds up, especially if you're trying to make this bike shift good. So the next gear that we can take off, theoretically, is this one here, which is welded onto the shaft. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time here and give you all a quick time lapse of me trying to get this gear off. And if I can't, I'll do my best to showcase you know, the damages. Got it. That didn't take very much effort at all. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me get you guys down here. I've got my dad, Papa Moto's out here, helping me out with the lighting. Appreciate that. But um, this gear, <laughs> wow. Look at that damage. That is amazing. Just from some high speed passes. And oh, look at this. No clutch. So this piece here, came out yeah, that dog. of that spot right there. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. The that, shaft that, doesn't that, look yeah. too bad. Wow. That's So that's actually kind of impressive. Um, but that is just amazing. Oh, you gotta snap ring that off. Yeah, we'll, we'll snap ring that off really quick, but oh my goodness. Can we get the snap rings? Yeah. Um, we'll probably have to change the tips on it though. So looking at this gear here, we can see that it actually looks pretty good except for that corner it is very, very rounded. Um, and it, it spins pretty good, but because of that, I would have to say that this gear would need to be replaced. Um, I'm surprised this gear is okay. And then I, I forgot to do this first because um, I did it first with the last one, but I got kind of into it. The teeth here, you can see it's got a little chip there, but the rest of it actually looks it's not pretty decent. And then, of course, it doesn't really matter what this one looks like, but I'll show you guys anyway. Um, the teeth here are. Yeah, it's. Oh, the teeth are the okay. The teeth are okay, it's but. The dogs that are bad. That is busted. So. We gotta get this snap ring off here, which we're just gonna take our Channel Lock brand snap ring pliers. And I guess this will be a good chance to show you guys what I'm talking about with the lip here. See how it's, see how it's got that little angle on it? There we go. That angle is very important. I'll, I'll just put up a picture of the um, manual on what it says to do about that. And this gear slides off 
and it's got a washer behind it and you can see it's got some grooves there. I'm not sure if those are machined and this is a washer in the front of it here. So it goes like that and that with the gear in the middle. And then the teeth on this gear look pretty good. No huge damage. Um, so I'd call this gear good. And then of course you can take a look at the shaft here where that gear kind of grenaded. It all looks pretty good. I'm actually really surprised. Um, and then this gear slides right off. And as you can see, this one, the teeth look good and the corners here, just a little bit rounded, but certainly not bad. This one looks pretty good. And then we've got another, this one isn't a snap ring, it's like this weird um, ring. It's like a snap ring, it just doesn't have any grooves in it. So what you do is you take your same, um, same pliers and you just kind of set it at the side and you have to push it open like that. the little cogged washer and the sleeve that sits inside of it, just like that. And then we can take a better look at the angle of the stuff in there. And see the curved, there we go, curved edge there and there. So this one probably wouldn't shift very well either. I'm gonna organize all these gears in the way that they come out now. Okay, so I've got that shaft completely disassembled here, going, um, I've got the shaft laid out in the direction that all the gears came off. If any of you need to pause the video and look at any specific piece here, um, starting from here, we've got this collar, this gear, washer, this um, pinion gear, a uh, splined washer, and then we've got our um, circlip. Our, yeah, and then we've got this gear here. We've got another thin washer. We've got another dog gear. We've got another spline washer, and then this kind of odd um, snap ring. That's why I should have called this thing a snap ring. Um, and then this gear here. Next thing we're going to work on is this main shaft. Um, and of course we've already kind of done the damage assessment on it, so what I'm going to do is start pulling it apart. There's the transmission completely blown apart. If anybody has you know any questions about any of that that's kind of how it all comes apart and now I'm going to show you what my used transmission looks like and how its condition is so all these gears look great I don't see any kind of damage to them they all spin freely No damage there. And then all of these edges are sharp. There's not a single edge anywhere that isn't 100% sharp. All of those edges. And then move to the main shaft here. Again, same story. No damage to any of the teeth. This is a very, very good looking transmission. And then, um, got just the slightest bit of rounding on that corner, but none of the others. The rest of them are super sharp, 
All these teeth are sharp. And I'm very, very happy with this transmission. And included with it, I got all of the shifting components. These forks and the shift drum, which if we can compare to my old transmission, I'll just show you this is the same gear, both labeled R for right with the 5BE. And you, what, the only thing you have to look for on these is this um, surface on both sides. Make sure it's not cut. You can run your finger on it. And then, of course, on this one, you can see that nice layer of metal that's kicked up right there, and it's very sharp. And you can see that big wear scar there and a little bit of scarring there. Um, that's the only one that's damaged on my old transmission. But that's what you're looking for. Okay guys, thanks for watching my transmission breakdown video. I hope you appreciated it. I hope that I helped at least somebody with um, their transmission um, and how they're putting it together. If you liked the video, please comment and like, get, get me known out there. And if you really do like this kind of material, subscribe, new videos Tuesday and Friday. I'll see you guys in the next video.